Integrated Logistics Systems To support the need to develop more integrated operations, there have been a number of recent developments in logistics and distribution systems that have the concept of total logistics as their basis. Thus, quite revolutionary trade-offs are now being practiced. The major reason for this explosion of new ideas is twofold. The first is the realization of the importance, cost, and complexity of logistics. The sec second is the progress made in the field of information technology, which has enabled the development of sophisticated information systems to support and enhance the planning and management of logistics operations, whereby very detailed data collection and analysis can be undertaken that was previously impossible. Direct Product Profitability, or DPP. DPP is a technique of allocating all of the appropriate costs and allowances to a given product. All distribution costs, storage, transport, etc., are therefore assigned to a specific product rather than taking an average over the whole product range. Thus, in the same way that a budgetary system operates, the actual costs of distributing a product are monitored and compared to a standard cost determined using DPP. In this way, areas of inefficiency throughout the whole logistics operation can be identified. DPP techniques can identify the cost of specific products to individual customers and so provide invaluable information for effective marketing strategies. Materials Requirements Planning, or MRP, and Distribution Requirements Planning, DRP. MRP DRP systems have been developed as sophisticated computerized planning tools that aim to make necessary materials or inventory available when needed. The concept originated with materials requirements planning, an inventory control technique for determining dependent demand for manufacturing supply. Subsequently, manufacturing resource planning MRP2 was developed with the objective of improving productivity through the detailed planning and control of production resources. MRP2 systems are based on an integrated approach to the whole manufacturing process from orders through production planning and control techniques to the purchasing and supply of materials. Distribution requirements planning is the application of MRP2 techniques to the management of inventory and material flow, effective warehousing, and transportation support. DRP systems operate by breaking down the flow of material from the source of supply through the distribution network of depots and transportation modes. This is undertaken on a time phase basis to ensure that the required goods flow through the system and are available as when required at the right place at the right time, one of the classic distribution definitions. Integrated systems of this nature require sophisticated, computerized information systems as their basis. The benefits of an effective system can be readily seen in terms of reduced freight, storage and inventory holding cost, and improved customer service. Just in time, or JIT. JIT originated as a new approach to manufacturing and has been successfully applied in many industries such as the automotive industry. It has been significant implications for distribution and logistics. The overall concept of JIT is to, pro to provide a production system that eliminates all activities that neither add value to the final product nor allow for the continuous flow of material, in simple terms, that eliminates the costly and wasteful elements within a production process. The objectives of JIT are vitally linked to distribution and logistics, including as they do the production of goods the customer wants, the production of goods when the customer wants them, the production of perfect quality goods, and the elimination of waste, meaning labor, inventory, movement, and space. There are a number of JIT techniques used to greater or lesser extent by the generally large companies that have adopted the JIT philosophy. As with all such approaches, JIT has some negative points as well as the more positive ones listed above. It can, for example, lead to increased traffic flows due to the need for smaller but more frequent deliveries of goods to the customers. If you enjoyed this video, 
Then join my Business Mastery Insider Secrets Club. There you'll have access to all my business mastery systems, over a thousand business strategy videos, over a hundred hours of business mastery university courses. You'll access my 10 business assessment tools, my 12 business planning tools, the small business makeover, the 120 day performance challenge, the six month internet blueprint, thousands of business articles, over 700 business templates, and over a hundred of my favorite business strategy eBooks. All of this for just $29 a month for a limited time. So join now.